Hello everybody, welcome back to FIFA 22. We've had a bit of FM on the channel, but today is a FIFA video and we are diving into Ipswich in the Papa John's Trophy, which is the EFL Trophy, which is, um, uh, it should be an interesting one. The, the, the season's gone okay up to this point. I mean, we've got 100 percent backing from the board which is wonderful as you can see there above target which is going very very well if we go into where where's normally the league table oh, it's normally there isn't it but because ah uh, because it's uh johnson's paint trophy that's not what it's called i've literally just said what it's called and now i can't remember uh, the efl trophy that's it we're going to jump into here now change change competition there we go change competition no nope, i don't want the promotion playoff what's going on here Okay, Genoa won the European International Cup. We didn't win it, obviously. Papa John's, Carabao Cup, Emirates FA Cup, League Two. Here we go. We are in ninth position, so it's not too bad, to be honest. But the board do want us to challenge for the title this year, but a win could take us up to fifth uh, in the league anyway. And crew are up there on 27, so not too far upon Nine points ahead of us. Easily recoverable if we do want to win the league. But uh, overall... It's not been going too bad. A 0-0 draw against Forest Green Rovers. 0-0 draw against Leighton Orient. We beat Northampton 1-0. We drew 2-2 with Crewe. We beat Mansfield 2-1. We drew 1-1 with Accrington. So a few too many draws uh, at the moment, which is a little bit of a concern. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Right, let's get into this game then. We'll see you for kickoff. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, on a very drizzly evening. I don't know what day it is. Monday? Wednesday? Don't know. But here we are at Ivy Lane, which is definitely not uh, Ipswich Town's home. It's Portman Road, isn't it? But yes, the teams are coming out. We're going to dive straight into this one because we need to get it underway and make this happening. A few changes in the Hartford United team as we line up in our lovely yellow away kit. I mean, Ed Valton immediately taking the mickey out of an Ipswich Town player. As uh, Yes, Mumo, the new player, comes in to central midfield. Miles comes in to left back. Coles keeps his place at the back. Artian keeps his place in holding midfield. And we're going to try and uh, just keep this moving around and see what we can do as uh, Artian can pick out. Well, lots of space here for the new signing, Kova. Kova shoots left-footed. Good save from Hladaki in goal. But look how easily we cut Ipswich Town open there. Obviously sponsored by Ed Sheeran's new album or new tour anyway but yeah a good good start to the game that one is uh let's see if we can put this one in towards the back post i think that's coles there with a the header it's over the bar so it switch come forward burns nice back heel into picket he's trying to get it back to burns again and burns has a little bit of pace he goes back to vincent young all the way back to the central midfield morsi into fraser good movement this and good passing from it which is picket finds himself in space over the bar Cortez puts it out wide to Janssen, who's come in today to replace Ferretti on the right-hand side. Penny with a good tackle. It's been a decent game. First opening sort of 10 minutes or so has, uh, has been good for both teams, to be honest. Both having a, a decent opportunity. Momu, Mumo has to go out towards uh, Miles. Back in at left-back today. Nearly lost the ball, but managed to hold on. As uh, Fernandez can bring this one forward. Lots of space. In the middle again for Momo. He spots Koiva and it's a good interception from Wolfenden and Edmondson. Can find Penny and Ipswich Town will hold on to the ball. And at the moment it's the same sort of story for Hartchester United. In the final third it just sort of falls down a little bit. But if they can uh, get into there you've got to fancy them with some opportunities. Kuhn tries to put a ball down the line. Read well by Wolfenden and Ipswich will look to counter and well they're keeping possession. No they're not. They're giving it away. No we're giving it away. Piggott, Fraser, back to Piggott. He comes forward, closed down well by Coles. Ed Vanson picks up the loose ball. Jensen looks to spread the play out to Kuhn, and Kuhn can take this first time. Good touch from the youngster. Tries to put it back across. Is that a foul, ref? No, it's not. And the game continues. And Piggott has put a lovely ball here into Burns. Burns goes for the early cross. A bit over hit towards the back post. Edwards is there. Tries to put it back across. RTN gets a touch on it. It's going to fall to Piggott. And it's 1-0 Ipswich. And just like that, Ipswich turned it around. A picket celebration is pretty shocking. But it's 1-0 to the home team. And, well, we just didn't deal with this, this second ball, really. It came off. We got a touch on it. Fell to the other striker. And then Piggott left-footed. And, wow, well, Marinovic has got no chance there, has he? 1-0, Ipswich Town. Oh, and Coles was so close to blocking it. But just lifted his foot out of the way. 1-0. And that goal seems to have really rocked Hartchester United. It is all Ipswich Town at the moment. As Fraser finds it out to Edwards. 
Back into the goal scorer, Joe Piggott. Piggott to Harper. Harper to Vincent Young. Back into Harper and he's into the penalty area. And surely he's going to shoot. Good save from Mar Marinovic to touch it behind. But at the moment, it is all Ipswich Town. After they've gone 1-0 up, there's been no sort of response from Harchester United. Burns out to, well, Edwards here on the right-hand side. Tries to put that one in. It's found its way through. Great save from Marinovic, that one. And Coles gets a block on the rebound. And, well, Kuhn just looks to bring a little bit of composure to proceedings. Oh, although Kova has been caught on the ball. Piggott tries to put that one through. Good touch from Edwards. Back to Piggott. Back into Edwards again. And his looping shot is over the bar. Jensen dinks the ball through and picks out Mumo. Mumo just being held up on the ball here. Tries to find Kova. Kova and go back to Artian. Artian puts that one through to Cortez. Cortez shoots. Good save from the keeper. It was straight at him, but he had to stay strong and stay firm. And it's Manchester United's first real effort at the goalkeeper. And on, his, on target for him. And he's made the save. And Cortez with an, a good turn, a quick turn, and a quick shot. But couldn't make the most of it. And here come Ipswich Town again as uh, Edwards comes forwards with it. Invites Penny back to Edwards. Now it goes to Morsi. Morsi trying to turn. Oh, he's got that one across. Miles stabs out a toe and manages to get it away as Cortez can come forward now. Cortez out to this side. And there are runners in front here, but... The referee's not going to bring that back for a foul because we played the advantage. And Ipswich hold on with Harper. Can Harchester United have one last attempt before the half is out? Janssen tries to put it through. Picks out Cortez. Is it going to fall here to Kova? No, it's not. And you just feel there's not enough options for Harchester United in the final third at the moment. There's a good tackle that falls to Burns. Vincent Young comes forward. Oh, I thought I'd read that with Miles, but I couldn't. And Burns has taken a heavy touch. RTM with a good tackle, and it will be an Ipswich Town throw. And with about four minutes to go... In the first half, and uh, well, Ipswich started poorly, but they've, they've looked pretty good value for their lead at the moment as it goes into Fraser, into Piggott, Piggott, looking for his second, what a save from Marinovic. We've already said once how he's turning into a bit of a club legend, but he really is, like, just changing the game for us. He keeps us in so many games right now. Mumo looking for Edvardson on the right-hand side. He sees Cortez in a lot of space, and Cortez can take a touch. Shot from just outside the box, and Kladaki makes another save. Oh, man, we are going so close. Look, we just rifled it, trying to go for that far corner. But it's a good, strong right hand from Pladaki. And look, Carl Fletcher there. Back in my day, son. That's a goal. That's a goal. Corner then. We've got a short option running towards us. We're going to use him. It's Mo It's uh, Kova. Kova can dink this one in. Looking into the middle. It's a good header away. And a bit of a waste of the situation from a corner there. I wasn't too sure going to There could be a huge counter-attack on here. Because Edwards has men in the middle. He goes backwards to Vincent Young. Edwards again, and you feel the counter-attack has gone. It's half-time, 1-0 Ipswich, all to do in the second half for Harchester United. So second half about to get underway. Harchester United with one change at half-time, and what looks like a change of shape as well as uh, Timmy Abraham on to replace left-winger Kuhn. So striker on, left-winger off. And uh, Charles Cook is also on to replace Jensen as well. So both wingers being taken off for Harchester United as Abraham is well into the action straight away. His first pass isn't the best. And it goes off. It still looks like there is some width being made available from Cova and Charles Cook. But we'll have to see if this changes the fortunes for Harchester United. They haven't really been able to create too much going forward as Penny uh, looks to accelerate away from Charles Cook. Cuts back on and he's done very well here, Penny. A good little jinking run, this one. He's still going. Looks to dink it across. Fernandez is there to get it away. It's going to fall to Edwards into Piggott, though. Piggott shoots and that is 2-0 Ipswich. You can't give him space like that in the box. Too easy for Ipswich Town. Too easy. So it looks like the changes haven't really helped so far, although Kova is in a bit of space here. He can find Cortez into Abraham. Is he onside? Abraham shoots. I think he is onside. He's celebrating. It's a goal. It's 2-1. Just like that, we have got a goal. I honestly thought he was offside, which is why I didn't celebrate. But we have a goal, and it is Abraham the substitute. And the substitute's linked up well there, and I've skipped the replay accidentally because I'm in foot mode. But, uh, yeah, 2-1. Game on. Now, is that going to rock Ipswich Town at all? Wolf Endham with a good interception to stop the ball getting through to Cortez. Now, Cova is looking much more comfortable out on the attacking midfield sort of position. Uh, nat his natural sort of position, which is good. Abraham showing good pace to get back there as surely he's been caught late. And it is going to be a foul and a free kick to Harchester United as the Ipswich player just gets a talking to. Pig has to come over and just say, oi, mate, calm down. As a uh, substitution, then Evans coming on for Ipswich Town. He's going to be replacing number 55, whoever that is, because I don't know. But 
but we do have a free kick. He replaces Morsi. We haven't seen too much of Morsi in the game, so probably a, a clever substitution there as that's going to be given straight away to uh, Harper. And Evans gets an early touch in the game. Cover with a good tackle. And we're going to try and get this one away. Charles Cook. There's a good run there from Cortez, but the pass was really bad. Really, really bad, that one, as Harper brings it away into Fraser. Fraser has the ball. Well, it goes left to Penny for Ipswich. Back into Fraser. Edwards looking to get away. Edvardson with a good interception. RTN can pick out Charles Cook, and the, the ball was weighted perfectly. And Abraham's there, and he flicks it on. Cortez, so much time. Cortez, what a save from Kladaki. And it should be 2-2. A great little counter-attacking move from Harchester United, and he really should be scoring. It's a dreadful finish. Good save from Hladaki. 2-1 still. Corner ball. This time we're not going to mess around. Just get it straight into the box. It's a little bit deeper than I would have liked. I think that's going to be our throw in. It is a throw in to Harchester United. Take it quickly. Let's get this. Let's get this game going again. Let's keep Ipswich under this pressure. Charles Cook picks out Artian, who puts it down the line, but Abraham's just offside. Still 2-1. Charles Cook looks for the overlap to try and find Edvards. And Charles Cook was caught very late. Referee didn't give anything. Back to the goalkeeper, Ledaki, who's had a, a really good game. He'd be ha he'd hate to do something foolish and give the ball away in his own half. That's a, a decent challenge on the header. And Cortez has also put in a good tackle. And Abraham can turn. Oh, he tried to squeeze the ball through. Not enough pace on it. Unlucky, though, for the tall striker, who has got a goal today for Archer United. His first for the club in, the, uh, well, in his career so far. And it comes in the... Papa John's trophy, EFL trophy. But this is the man that's making the difference at the moment. Joe Piggott is the man who's making the difference. And Ipswich looking to regain a bit of possession, which is where their, their opportunities came from when they went 2-1 up and 1-0 up. Uh, in fact, they went 2-0 up and 2-0 up, didn't they? And Fraser's in to make it 3-1. And well, what a save again. And uh, Piggott will try and keep this one alive. He dinks it back into space. Momo's there. Coles with a header away as well. Cortez trying to challenge. Everybody for Hutchinson United is back there. Cortez, good interception, but couldn't get the ball out of his feet quick enough. At the end, with a good interception. Kova just holding on to the ball and looking to make something happen. But he gives it away, and that's a good ball over the top. Come on, Coles. You've got that. You've got, he hasn't got that. It's gone into Joe Piggott. Piggott for the hat-trick. What a finish. 3-1. Unbelievable scenes. And Joe Piggott celebrates in style. That was a great finish. He's got a hat-trick, and Ipswich Town are taking us to the cleaners. I'm pretty sure Ipswich are in the league above us anyway. But, uh, yeah, great header into his path. One touch, right-footed, rifled in. Nothing we could really do. 3-1. Looks like we're going to be starting our Papa John's trophy exploit with a loss this season. As uh, Numo puts that one out, it stays up the line towards Cova, but Vincent Young can intercept it. And Harper comes forward up towards Piggott again, who's been instrumental for Ipswich in this game. We'll have to see if we can buy him because his finishing looks absolutely deadly for this sort of level. Burns on it. Goes back to Vincent Young. Back to Burns again. Burns holding it up. Back to Vincent Young. No crosses coming in. When they do, Coles is there to clear. Cortez, that's not a good pass. And Fraser picks up into Piggott. Piggott round the corner. Oh, nearly a really good ball. He wants an assist to go with his hat-trick. Oh, Marinovic has just balled the ball out straight to Fraser in a blue shirt, which isn't good for Harchester United. As Fraser comes forward, lays that one inside. Edwards, Penny, on it goes. Still great play this. Piggott with a shot, and this time he completely fluffs it. And we're going to make a substitution then. Cortez coming off, and Hargreaves coming on to replace him for the last four minutes. Just keep his match sharpness up, and substitution for Ipswich Town, as well as Penny is replaced by Burgess, as Miles will look to bring this one forward. He has uh, Artian there trying to just move the ball across. Miles back into Coles. Coles can look to spread the play and give the ball to Edvardson, who surely, if Hutchinson United don't start making progression, he will be wanting a move to a higher division because he is clearly a very good player as Edwards gives that ball away. It's just sloppy possession from Hutchinson United in this game. Passes are being rushed as Hargreaves comes forward. That, what is that as a pass? That is dreadful. Men are just go through to Abraham. This time we do eventually find him. As uh, Charles Cook now has it. He tries to put a ball through to Hargreaves. And it's all a bit too narrow. All a bit too forced. And uh, Burgess, the new left back, will uh, look to... Oh, he's giving it straight to Abraham. Abraham can look to shoot. And he puts it top corner. And it's 3-2 with about 20 seconds to go, probably. Um, it's a good finish. But what was Burgess, the, the substitute, doing? Try to play it back. It's a lovely finish from Abraham into that corner. Abraham has two. Piggott has three. And that is the difference at the moment. It's a lovely finish. 
from Abraham. The number 10 for Hartchester United. Keeper had no chance. Top corner. Oh, I think we've run out of time, though. I think we're just not going to have enough time to make this count. 90th minute goal has made the scoreline, yeah, look a little bit closer than it probably should be. Ipswich deserved the win. 3-2 winners here for the home team. And, uh, yeah, Joe Piggott can collect the match ball. What a game from him. What a bastard. So, as per usual, then, into the press conference afterwards. Should Abraham's performance have won Mahalchity United the game today? Uh, he couldn't do it on his own. He played really well, but he couldn't do it on his own. I think we have to go to a two up front formation. I think that felt a bit better. When you get the late goal back, you must have been hoping for one more to rescue a point from the game. Were well, you disappointed your team couldn't find that little bit extra? After getting the late goal back, did you expect your team to find an equaliser? Uh, we let ourselves get overrun. We're always we we're always chasing the game. We went 2 0 down. We were chasing the game. They're a good team. And I feel like um, we, we made it hard for ourselves, to be honest. We really, really did. Does defeat today damage the team's confidence? Uh, one mistake can be costly, can't it? Confidence is such a big part of the game. Maybe we just lacked a little bit of self-belief. Yeah, maybe that, was, maybe that was the issue. Coming back into it, lacking a bit of self-belief. But, uh, yeah, bad luck. Bad luck today. So I was going to do two games in today's episode, but I feel like we need to figure out a formation. I sort of want... We've got really good wingers, and I feel like we need to play two up front, and you can't really get... A good so that's what we ended with a 4 2 2 2 but there's no actual width we could try a 4 1 2 1 2 wide and then we drop Kuhn into left mid it would be Ferretti out at right mid as you can see they're not they're not overly keen to play there um, but then we've lack the sort of midfield that we really want to play yeah, I need... Uh, this is going to be tough, because I want to... Patino really should play. He doesn't deserve to be dropped. Neither does Artian. I don't know. Maybe we can't... But Maybe it's a three at the back. Maybe we have to go for a three at the back formation. Like a 3-4-2-1. No, a 3-5-2. A 3-5-2 might work. We could try a 3-5-2. And go... Obviously, get your comments down below and let me know. A 3-1-4-2. That's probably a bit more suitable for us. 3-4-1-2 like that. I think a 3-4-1-2 or a 3-4-1-2 three, three, or a 3-1-4-2. That allows us to play an attacking midfielder. That allows us to play a holding midfielder. That allows us to play two holding midfielders, which would be Artian and Patino. And then one attacking midfielder. Okay, 3-5-2. A basic 3-5-2. So it would be Ferretti on the right. And we can train them to become right midfielders. That's not a problem. Patino and Artian there. It would be Marion off for Charles Cook or someone like that in terms of this formation. For the moment, we can leave Marin there. So Cortez up front. Perkins would come off for Ferrer, who's now on... No, he would come off for a striker. Sorry, Hargreaves. Hargreaves, Cortez, Artian, Fernandez, Coles. Yeah, but we'd then miss out on Edvardson. Hmm. This is going to be tough. This is going to be an interesting one because Edvardson could play there. Or do we just go for a basic 4-4-2? I don't know. I'm going to need your comments on this one because I want some width. I want some width, but I also want Edvardson to play at his favourite position. Fernandez, Coles. Kuhn would uh, go there. Oh, no, would go there. Ferretti would go there. And Marin would be replaced by Perkins. Patino and Artian gives us two defensive midfielders. Then we could change to bring on... I don't know. I don't know what formation to play. I'm a big fan of the 4-3-3, but it, it narrows us, I think, for... We're struggling. We're conceding goals because it's hard to defend against the AI. And then we're struggling to score goals because I don't think we've got enough sort of opportunities to do some quick passing up front between strikers. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We can always sell central midfielders as well. We can always sell people if they're not playing enough. You're going to have to let me know. You're going to have to let me know in the comments what we do. What we do in this position. Because we're having some tactical questions being asked here. We are having some tactical questions being asked. Unless we try and play one in behind like a 4-4-1-1. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we change from having a holding midfielder to a 4-3-3 attack. But then we don't get the best out of Artian. Who is a very good holding midfielder. He's been really good screening the front four. So I feel like you have to have a holding midfielder. You have to have a holding midfielder in there. 
four two three one doesn't give us the width we want. Isn't there all? Can't you do? Uh, oh, you can just set it up. Okay, so we could actually just go into a. I didn't know you could do this left wing roll. Ah, okay, so you can't put him actually up front. Okay, so you still have to keep it as a sort of a in the same sort of system. Oh no, you can have. Yeah, there you go. We'll just go for a. We'll go for a four two four. Yeah, all right, lovely. There you go. We're gonna go for a four-two-four with two holding midfielders in 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 Artie. And in fact, we're gonna put Artie and we're gonna go a bit risky, but we're gonna go for a four-one-one one. like that. Oh no, not a cam. I don't want you as a cam. Um, oh, okay, no, we're not. We're gonna have to go then with a left defensive mid. And a right defensive mid. Although I'd like them to be a little bit narrower. If I'm, I see now you've gone to a right centre mid. That's what I wanted originally. Right centre mid up there. Right centre mid. You come in here and play as a... No. No, no, no. You come in here and play as a whole left defensive mid. You two swap over. Job done. Right. There we go. We've got the width. We've got the holding midfielder. That's what we're going to... That's what we're going to be playing with like that for the next game when we come back we'll have to see how this is going to get on because i don't know bruce may make some changes around you know mix it up a little bit not a very good performance against Ipswich. we did score two goals but not a very good performance let's have a look to see when we're gonna be back what month are we in here what month are we in? we're in october um let's go and play some games. I've got Gillingham in the Cup Cup. League, league, league. God, game's coming thick and fast. Uh, we'll come back in... And we will do two games in the next episode. So we'll come back and do Bradford and Oldham for the Derby. That's what we're going to come back for. Bradford on the 22nd of November. And then Oldham, uh, the Derby match on the 26th of November as well. So it's going to be a long old season, this one. Um, we need to start getting some more wins on the board. We need to start being more clinical up front. But thank you so much for watching for now. I'm out. Cheers.